What's up guys, it's your boy Chum Crusher. I'm back here with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top 10 flaws I have on my Honda S2000. I'm actually at a different spot. I came here before the shoot. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I have came here a couple times. That's where I climbed up and I actually shot a, a picture right there. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It is at Chino Carson. I did get a, a pretty dope picture right here, but the only reason the only reason I came here was because I, I feel like you guys get tired of the same scenery because I'm always at the same park and um, I don't know sometimes I feel like it bothers you guys I don't know let me know but I was like okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change it up I actually did shoot this video yesterday but my dumbass was right next to a freeway and it was really annoying I had actually fully edited the video already and then I would look back at it and dude you could hear wind it, it's so annoying because if I was right next to the freeway, so it was pretty loud. So right here, it's kind of windy, but you guys at least won't hear the freaking car zooming past by, you know. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and shoot you guys with the top 10 flaws I have in this car before I get shot. Because I literally just heard a gunshot over here. Let me show you guys. I literally heard a gunshot over here. I kid you not. Because there's um, this is like a ranch. There's like a... A pretty big ranch over there and they're probably shooting guns or something so yeah let me go back inside before i get sniped all right so starting off with the number one thing I, and some of these things i have already mentioned throughout my videos i have actually um not all of them but i think a good half or so i have mentioned throughout my videos but i decided i was like hey fuck it, i'm gonna go ahead and make it all in one video it might motivate me to make uh to actually fix these things because most of these things are fixable it does require some money i just have been lazy to actually look up the parts and find the parts so so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and shoot you guys with the number one thing is the third brake light yes i still haven't fixed it that shit's still cracked let me go ahead and show you all right now this all right so this third brake light honestly throws off the car so much like that little tape i might just take the tape off look i'm gonna take the tape off and show you Oh my gosh, the tape like kind of like sunk in there already, but look at this crack. I think that looks better like that, doesn't it? But yeah, look at look how nasty it just throws off the car so much. But like I said, I really don't want to invest in a fucking third brake light because I'm gonna end up buying a duck bill. So I'm just gonna be patient. I'm still looking for a duck bill. So until I get one, I'm gonna have to live with it. So the duck bill does cover, it goes on top. So yeah, might as well pay a couple extra bucks and then get a duck bill. So yeah that's number one okay so the second thing is the alignment i haven't gotten alignment on this car ever since i bought it i'm honestly just waiting at this point until i get coilovers and a new set of tires because uh my, my front tires are actually already like going bald so there's no point in getting a fucking alignment right now i'm gonna just wait until i i'm done fidgeting around with all that shit the suspension and the wheels so yeah i'm being patient and then once i get the coilovers and the new tires i'll go ahead and get an alignment but yeah that's something i really need to do so that's number two number three you want to tell me what number three is number three is <laughs> actually the paint so I'll take my shades off because right now you could tell really really good the sun's like hitting the freaking the car really good so you guys see look at how bad you see all those scratches oh my gosh it is so bad i really really need to get a freaking detail all these little scratches another thing that throws off the car look at that shit just the whole body look you, you see all those little scratches it's so fucking bad man i haven't actually gotten like a, a good professional professional detail i did do it myself but i'm no professional another thing is well these scratches let me see you guys you see, you see these scratches right here and then there's like there's like little chips on the on the doors on the other side that i have some as well okay so do you guys remember when i crashed my car and the whole fitment was just <laughs> so bad literally the fitment was so bad right now it's pretty fair but it still needs some work but when i was fidgeting around like moving around the fenders and the hood when i was adjusting it trying to get the fitment as best as possible um when i had my old fenders i was actually you know like i said i was fidgeting back and forth and ah my fucking stupid ass accidentally uh, with the tip of the fenders or like the tabs i freaking scraped the door and i was trying to make it clear so when i would open it wouldn't hit but in the process of doing all that it would still scrape and well that's what happened all these little marks right here i f***ed it up i did touch it up with some paint that i got but it's still pretty noticeable so yeah that's number three 
The fourth thing is actually pretty stupid. I just, it's literally been like this. Let me let me show you guys first, and then I'll go ahead and explain. So if you look under right here, let me see if you guys can see that. You guys see right there that like loose piece, like that metal right there. You guys see how it's like dangling off. So that's actually like one of the jack points where you jack the car out from. But I don't even. That shit literally has no purpose because I jack it up from the sides. But I need to really take that off. But I don't have a jack because they stole my jack. So when I'm driving, sometimes that thing like hits the top. And you could hear the knocking. It's like metal on metal from the inside. And it's pretty loud. So that's something I really need to freaking just take off. It's one little bolt. So yeah, I got to fix that. Okay, so the fifth thing is the all-around fitment of this car. I know I've explained this one so many times. But I really can't do much about it growing things because i don't have a jack um the rear bumper is the only honestly the only thing that really bothers me because right here there's a really nasty gap right here right under the tail light but i can't remove this rear bumper because i need an actual jack to take the wheel off and get in here because there's one like screw in here it's like a uh, screw bolt that you got to take off and well i don't have any <laughs> I don't have any room. <laughs> yeah, I don't have room because the screwdriver, I would need like a puny ass screwdriver just to make it easier. I need to take the wheel off and just take it off. But like I said, I don't have a jack. So yeah, the all around fitment needs some freaking work. Okay, I did just wash my car. Damn, I'm looking so as f right now. <laughs> but anyway, so the fifth thing or sixth thing, I already lost count. But yeah, the, the next thing is actually my trunk more specific my trunk carpeting because when i bought the holy shit that's bad so when i bought the car i actually didn't have it was missing some of the trunk carpeting so it just it looks so bad i mean it does give me more space i guess that's the only good thing but look at this shit you can see my fucking fuel line and like it's so nasty look at this shit i really need to invest in some trunk carpeting and then i do gotta <laughs> i do gotta clean up my trunk too it's pretty messy so yeah, I need to get some chunk carpeting. That's honestly another thing I've been slacking on. So, so yeah, that is number six. Six, right? Five, six, I don't even know. Six. Okay, number seven is actually from the inside. This one doesn't really bother me as much because I'm never on the passenger side. But yeah, the number seven thing is that this uh, passenger side seat rail actually doesn't work. What is this? Oh, that's just a glare. But yeah, the passenger side seat uh, rail doesn't work. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Excuse my freaking mess. Some index. But um, yeah, here's the here's the little uh, knob, right? How you see how it's up? I'm trying to move it. it. It just it's it literally is jammed. I don't know it it just like something's jamming it or it just doesn't work at all. It's so hard to actually fix because it, it's held down by four little bolts, right? There's two in the front and two in the back. But I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get to the back ones because I can't move it up. So. So yeah, that's the problem. I, I can't get to the back, so I can't even take this shit off to fix it. So I gotta find some I gotta find some way to actually get to the back and take them off. But yeah, that is number seven. The number <laughs> the number eight thing is actually the tires. I didn't mention it already, but the front tires, I actually rotated them kind of late. So the front tires are really about to go bald and I have camber wear because the, my fronts were in the back. So yeah, there's really bad camber wear on it. I'm literally on wires. So I really got to invest on some new tires. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. But uh, fuck. shit, I got rolled, bro. I got rolled. Just kidding. This is I'm not I'm literally not trespassing up there's trespassing but right here I'm, I'm good so let me go ahead and show you guys the tires. Number eight. Look at look at how bad these fucking tires are. You see the wire? <laughs> yeah, the other side is, is as bad. But yeah, this shit's literally going bald already. So I'm probably just going to end up buying some pretty... Um, I'm not going to get these exact same hand cooks, but I'm going to get some uh, shittier tires just for right now until I get my coilovers and then slap on the new set of tires. Um, I don't know what tires. What tires do you think I should get for my actual next uh, good set? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I really got to get some new tires because I'm not trying to die. The number nine thing, number nine, right? We're on number nine, right? I forgot. Number nine is these these damn soft top holes. Like they're honestly, you could see them from far. They're so nasty. My soft top's really, really fading. I really gotta like buy some cleaner as well. Look how bad this shit is. 
so look how bad you can see all the fading like <laughs> the soft top is really needs some love man not just these holes but look i really gotta just try and bring the black if you guys know any good cleaners or something to bring out the black let me know in the comments as well because i, I would really really like to know because look at this shit. It's, it's really nasty i live in california in socal so yeah the sun's always <laughs> always fucking out and it's pretty hot today so yeah that's what makes it fade but yeah i gotta really fix these holes look at this shit man you could literally fist the look at that shit on the other side as well so yeah, on the other side they're as bad look at this shit there's these little patches that i already came with if you guys know any i don't know if this is a patch or what the hell they did but i'm pretty sure there was a hole here and they put this little black thing i think it's a patch they put it over and just to cover the hole if you guys know what the hell this is or anything to like help with the holes or any like tips on what i could do to cover these up let me know because i really need to just for right now until these actually get really bad and i'm gonna have to get a hard top but yeah for right now if you guys have anything like this like a patch or something you guys know of that i could slap on just so water doesn't go in when it's raining or when i'm washing it let me know and last but not least go back inside it's actually holy f man it is hot in here it got really windy outside and it's pretty hot wind so number last the number last thing <laughs> the last thing i didn't mention on the last video like i said i did mention i have mentioned these but i did mention this one in the previous video is boom right here this motherfucker right here number six just look at that shit it like grabs on a little bit but it doesn't go in all the way see that's fifth right here you hear that shit yeah it, it's f so <laughs> it is not fun <laughs> it is not fun having a five speed s2000 bro i get roasted all the time literally all my friends always be fucking uh making fun of me because i have a five speed but <laughs> i can't do shit man i'm honestly at this point i'm just waiting until the whole transmission just blows on me and then i'll probably just end up rebuilding it because to get a brand new transmission or not a brand new transmission but like a, a new transmission a good used transmission it's still pretty damn pricey we're talking in thousands so and then just to fucking find someone to put it on because i obviously i i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to do that shit and i don't have anywhere to do it so i would obviously have to pay someone to do it for me we're talking good thousands of dollars so i might just end up rebuilding it i do have a relative that knows how to do all that stuff so once it does go out i'm probably gonna just take it to him and then have him have him rebuild it so that is all those are the 10 flaws on my honda s2000 that i could think of right now i'm probably when i'm done with this video i'm gonna remember some more but anyway that's it that's all i wanted to do i do got more videos i'm gonna shoot i'm gonna actually shoot another one tomorrow so i'll probably have this one i'm gonna have this one up uh what the hell is today i think today's thursday i'll probably have this one on tomorrow friday august 2nd and then the other one probably mid uh next week so yeah look forward for those look forward to those so that's gonna be it for this video smash that like button subscribe post notifications on do all that good stuff for your boy it's been your boy chino carson and we're signing out peace out